Hello, I am Seamus Dunahoo of Eve University, and this is an introductory explanation of market orders. Let's go to Neocom, let's cl click the market button. The market is the primary venue by which players buy and sell items from and to each other for interstellar credits or ISK. You will probably be dealing with the market on a fairly regular basis, whether it's because you want to sell things that you manufacture, or buy things that you need to go shooting things in space, or if you're just uh, in the game for playing the market itself. Uh, I have some extra junk lying around here in the station that I want to get rid of. Uh, and I happen... So I'm going to right-click this 10 meganewton micro warp drive 1, and I'm going to view market details. Now, I happen to be docked in Heck 8 Moon 12 Boundless Creation Factory, which is the largest trade hub in the Metropolis region and is one of the two largest trade hubs in the Minimitar Republic, the other trade hub being Wrens in the Hematar region. Trade hubs are stations or solar systems where lots of players gather together to buy and sell things to each other, uh, and that's where players go because a lot of other players happen to gather there to buy and sell things to each other. Interesting how that works, isn't it? So anyway, here I am in the in the heck trade hub and there are sell orders for micro warp drives and buy orders for micro warp drives the way these orders work is that a player sets up a market order to dictate a price that they're willing to sell at or buy at and they wait for other players to come to them to, to come to their orders and agree to the transaction i'll show you in a moment how to set up your own uh, buy and sell orders, but for the, for now, let me show you how to sell directly to a buy order. So this is the list of buyers for 10 Meganewton Micro Warp Drive 1s, and the highest asking price that's available uh, in the station is 90,000 ISK. Any buy orders that are in green are buy orders that you can sell to from within this station. There's another guy who's uh, willing to buy uh, micro warp drives for 87,000 ISK, and his market order is technically located in Utendar one jump away, but he set a one jump range on it. So he's willing to take micro warp drives not only in Utendar, but also in any station that's one Stargate jump away from Utendar. But here in Hack, the highest uh, matching buy order is 90,000 ISK. So I'm going to right click the micro warp drive, I'm going to click sell this item. Uh, I'm going to go to the simple view. Let me click the simple button in the lower right corner. So this, while I am in the simple view, I am selling to somebody else's buy order. So that's the highest buy order that the game can find for me. I'm selling one item, and I am charged a sales tax, which is normally 1%, but you can reduce that with skills in... That's not the right button. but you can reduce that with skills in the trade category. All right. So, that's the buy order price. That uh, I'm going to click the sell button. That sells the item right away, and I get the money for it. Let's suppose I also wanted to sell these cap booster 150s. So I'm going to right click that, I'm going to first view the market details so I can see the prices. And the lowest sell orders in the region are about 3000 ISK, but the highest buy orders are only about 300 ISK. Hmm. I don't like this disparity. So rather than trying to sell to the existing buy orders, I'm going to see if I can sell this at my own price. So I right click, I, hold on, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I right-click the item, I sell this item, and I click on the Advanced button. And here on the Advanced button, I can dictate my own price. I'm going to say 2,000 ISK. And I also set a duration on the market order. Now the, what the duration means, that's the amount of time that the, market's gonna, that the market order will stay up before it gives up. You dictate a price, but that doesn't guarantee that somebody else is going to meet your price. And if your price is just outrageously high for a sell order, or way too low for a buy order, other people might not want to sell, 
uh, sell to you or buy from you. So if your market order goes unfilled, the, eventually it hits a time limit. You set that time limit here, and the items will be returned back to your items hanger. So I'm going to dictate a price of 2,000 ISK per cap booster 150, and I am going to set this for a duration of one week, after which it should give up, and click sell. And there is my sell order, 10 units of cap booster 150 at 2,000 ISK per unit. Alright, so that's the sell orders. I managed to sell something to a buy order, and now I've managed to put up something as a sell order. Uh, with the market orders, you're either dictating the price, or you're dictating when the order is filled. Not both. Okay, so if you're putting up your own order, you got to wait for somebody else to uh, take your price. If you're going to take somebody else's price, you can do that right away, no waiting. So that's selling. Let's suppose I wanted to buy stuff. And I figure I might need a certain kind of projectile ammunition called Titanium Sabo M. And I can look up the market orders for that. And let's see, the cheapest sell order in station is right here in heck. I can get it for hmm, about 27 isk. There are buyers who are asking for 20 isk for this same item, also in station. So if I wanted to, I can right click one of these sell orders, select buy this, and I can dictate a quant I can dictate a quantity, how much I want to buy. And I click the buy button. And because the sell order was right here in station, the item appears right here in station. You can buy any of these other items uh, in these other locations. Keep in mind, though, that it'll appear in your items hanger for that station, so you'll actually have to right-click the station and set destination uh, and go pick it up. Remember, setting the destination only has the autopilot plot a course for you. You have to undock in a ship and jump through highlighted stargates till you get over there. Uh, let's say, however, I wanted to buy at a lower price than is being offered. So I could click this button, place buy order, and I can ask for, I can say, I will buy this at 21 isk per unit, if anybody will sell it to me at that price, I want 1,000 of this thing. And I am willing to wait up to a week. And I only want the items here in station. Don't try to sell it to me at Jump Away or another uh, station in the solar system. I want it in this station. So I've got the range set to station. If I wanted to, I could instead set the range to solar system so people can uh, sell stuff to me in any station in heck, not just this station. I'm going to set this back to station, and I will click buy, and it's going to cost me, since I'm putting up my own buy order, it's going to cost me a certain amount in broker's fees to set up the order, and there is my buy order. When I, set up, when I set up my own sell order for the cap booster charges, I also had to pay a broker's fee. Which brings me to the subject of the NPC fees. If you're selling something, whether it's by a sell order or you're go going to somebody else's buy order, you have to pay a sales tax. So when you're selling something, you have to pay a sales tax. When you're setting up your own market order, you have to pay a broker's fee. And both of these are usually about 1% of the total value of whatever it is that you're trying to sell at the price that you're asking for. So if you're setting up your own buy orders, you got to worry about the broker's fee. If you're selling to somebody else's buy order, you got to worry about the sales tax. If you're setting up your own sell orders, you got to worry about both. So that's how to deal with other people's orders or how to set up your own orders. One other thing I should point out make sure you have your range filter set to region and make sure when you click on the browse tab here 
make sure show only available is turned off. Because when you're browsing for things, you want the full list of things that can be traded on the market. You may not necessarily want it limited to merely what's available in the region or in the station. The other thing you'll want to do is go to the settings tab and there are filters that you can apply. For example, I could say I only want to look at market orders that are within five jumps of me and it will only show me orders within five jumps. Normally I don't use this filter. You probably, as a new player, you probably want to turn off display orders in low security systems. That way you don't accidentally buy something that's in a station in low security space. Because if you have to go to low security space to pick it up, it's possible for other players to attack you along the way. As a matter of fact, it's not unheard of for somebody to put up uh, what looks like a bargain price out in low security space. And then when that item is purchased and there the buyer is undocking from that station low security space the seller is right there to destroy his ship because he likes blowing up other players ships and will set traps like that for the purpose I leave so I leave on only high security systems I also leave on zero security systems because you can only see the market orders in your current region right now I'm in metropolis so I can only see the Metropolis market orders. I can't see orders in Hematar, Synclaison, Domain, Derelict, The Forge, The Citadel, Essence, Every Shore, uh, Core Azor. I can't see any of those market orders because I'm not in any of those regions right now. Entire regions are either no null security at all or completely null security. So if you happen to be in a null security region, you might as well display orders in zero security systems, because those are the only orders that are going to exist. If you're in Empire space, then your region only has high and low security systems in it. It doesn't have any zero security systems. So you might as well leave zero security systems on. There are other filters that you can play with. Uh, I will let you do that uh, on your own and you can see what the various filters do. In the meantime, thank you for watching.